Now let's move on to the logbook, the dives register. So in this case, the watch has recorded four dives. In the first page, the total number of dives is always visualized. Let's enter. The first session to be visualized is the last in chronological order. So September 29th, 2020, 9.33 a.m., a free diving session started. I can go and scroll through the previous ones. September 28th, 6 a.m., September 26th, 6.37 p.m. So let's go back to the last one, pressing for a couple of seconds. I entered the dives register, recorded during the fourth free diving session. In the screen, I can see the total of the session between surface and underwater. The total amount of time of the session is 82 minutes. From the middle row, we can see the maximum depth of the session and from the last row the number of dives of the session and the minimum temperature recorded during the session. This was the first page. Briefly pressing I'm going to visualize the second page and in this case in the first row there's the session time passed on the surface. 75 minutes, session time passed diving, 7 minutes. In the middle row there's always the maximum depth reaching the session. And on the last row, the time of the best dive of the session. B stands for best, two minutes, 30 seconds. I can also go page one, page two, and then back to the fourth session. I can go and see the data of the single dives. In this case, five dives have been made. So, pressing for a couple of seconds the cell key, I enter the singular dive feature. And in this case, I see in the first row, the time scales concerning the dive. The period of time passed between the first dive and what, the one I'm visualizing, that being the first dive, it's zero. In the upper left, I see the maximum instantaneous speed of the dive. In this case, downhill 84 meters per minute and uphill 60 meters per minute. In the middle row, I see the maximum depth of the dive, 24.2 meters. On the side, I see the dive time, 2.26 minutes. And on the last row, the number of the dive I'm visualizing and the minimum temperature reached during the dive. Briefly pressing, I scroll through the other dives too, that in this case we said were five. This is the page concerning the second dive, and at the top I see the amount of time I spent on the surface between the first and the second dives. It's 27 minutes and 36 seconds. As we said before, in the second dive, Uphill and downhill, a maximum of speed of 84 meters per minute has been reached. These velocities, of course, aren't a result of my free diver capacities. They're artificial, simulated divings. In the middle row, the maximum depth of the dive that I'm visualizing is 7.1 meters. The time is 1.12 minutes. In this case, a second and on the last row, the number of the dive and the minimum temperature of the dive, and so forth, the third dive and the fourth one. Between the middle and the last row, a symbol has appeared, TRV, time ratio violation. It indicates that the suggested surface time has not been respected. The suggested surface time is calculated by the algorithm of the Taravana protection. Later on, we'll see that in detail. 